Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to show you guys one of the best ways to make very, very quick money in New World. So there's going to be a couple different ways for people in kind of that late game, level 50 to level 60 zones. Uh, I kind of want to talk about this specifically. It's going to apply, like I said, to late game content uh, mostly here, but... I do want to kind of, like I said, mention this one because it's a massive, massive money maker. If we take a look at stone cutting, stone cutting is going to be something that every person should eventually get up because that's going to be the way to get to keys. We should all know this by now. If you don't, well, I'm going to teach you something today. So 172 right now is my stone cutting skill. I'm trying to get that, like I said, the 200. Because at level 200, you can start crafting tuning orbs. A lot of these take 200 level or I should say level 200 to actually start crafting, and that is because you need rune stones, and rune stones, like I said, do take level 200. However, these are going to be the components that are the rarest of the rare, and that's going to be what I would call in the Genesis core as well as in the Lazarus core. If we go take a look at those, this is going to show you guys some of the crazy things we need. We need corrupted rune. We need molten rune. Lazarus core, we need glowing spores, and we need earth totem. Let's take a look at just a few of these. So the first one, we're going to actually take a look at Lazarus Core because this is one of the more rare cores, to, or sorry, I guess more rare orbs to actually generate. If you actually take a look at the components, Lazarus takes 10 rune stone, right, in a Lazarus Core. Genesis just takes a Genesis Core, which takes a little bit less, and then only 5 rune stone and only 10 lodestone or corrupted lodestone at the top. And like I said, Lazarus takes 20. So the, Lazarus is more of the late game dungeon that everybody's going to continue to want to farm late game. So... When I talk about this, like I said, there's going to be a lot of reasons as to why people are going to be farming these specific resources. Glowing Spores, Earth Totem, Molten Rune, and Corrupted Rune. So let's start with the Totem and Glowing Spores because, like I said, these are going to be the highest found really gold money makers out there and these are going to be from picking them out of elite chests so glowing spore found an elite chest around siren strand in reek water we also have earth totem a totem from angry earth found an elite chest around malevolence and i should say malevolence i always say it weird malevol malevolence i feel like i'm saying that wrong guys help me out in the comments if you could malevolent Mel, <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna be over on that one for a while, but you can see what I'm saying here. Earth Totem and Glowing Spore. I'm going to show you guys where those are real quick. So Glowing Spore is going to be in Reek Water, like I said, in this zone right here, Fort Castle Drift, and then you'll continue on your way to Spire. It's going to be in the Pirates area for sure. We also go up to Malevolence. Uh, or Malevolence. That's what I'm looking for, guys, Malevolence. Uh, that's going to be over in, like I said, Eden Grove. And actually, the, the items actually kind of tell you where to get them in Elite Chests in these areas. So Malevolence is going to going to be the other one you're going to be able to get these both available like i said in those zones i want to talk a little bit more like i said about the price though that you're going to be getting for each one of these so glowing spore and earth totem let's take a look right now at the prices um and we're in windsward one of the biggest trading posts right now as well so let's go to glowing spore and we're going to search by price we're going to go cheapest first each glowing spore is 40 gold that's quite a bit now, let's take a look at Malevolence, because like I said, that's one that not as many people, in my opinion, go to take a look at. And I believe this one was called the Earth Totem. So we have Earth Totem next, and Earth Totem, 100 gold is the cheapest. That is absolutely insane. So we're seeing each chest that you loot, elite chest that is, in these zones, are going to be netting you anywhere from 40 to 100 gold with the Lazarus Core really materials if we take a look at the genesis core those are going to be ones that are called i believe rune so it's going to be corrupted rune in molten rune corrupted rune is right now selling for about 100 gold a piece there's not very many of them on the market we actually take a look at molten rune as well and we have 176 by the way on this one i did check the prices prior by the way settlements if we take a look at all settlements this one is much, much lower than compared to every other uh, resource, just because this one is a very, very easy one to get. This one's actually located, the Molten Rune, in these two locations. It's going to be the Siv uh, Svixen Stand, it's going to be Lower Svixen, and then Upper Svixen. I can't say those correctly either, but you guys get the point. These two locations are going to have a ton of elite chests, and that's why they're going to be a little bit less expensive. But, like I said, guys, these are going to be great money makers that you should definitely be, you know, keeping an eye out for and selling because they're only going to rise in value. So you may want to stockpile them up. As more and more people are able to start crafting rune stones, by the way, they're going to need corrupted portals to come back. So right now, if you guys didn't know, corrupted portals you know, came back up, then they went back down, they came back up, they went back down. I'm talking about tier fives. You know, nobody's going to try to, from tier three, tier four, 
portals crafting corrupted lodestone because it takes so so many different corrupted portals to do so but the big thing to know out of today's video guys is these are going to be the money makers and i'm going to show you guys again before we you know kind of pass you over to a video of me going around in sviskin and taking those molten runes out of those uh those chests if we take a look here lazarus core going to be a big one it's going to have earth totem glowing spores those are going to be the ones you want to watch out for and you can actually like i said hover over them they'll tell you exactly where they are if you want to pause the video to see where to you should actually be going for these elite chests to get these and then we have genesis core as well so what i would suggest to you guys like i said corrupted rune is a very very popular one for people to be going for right now because it's mangled heights in great cleave which is a place not many people go uh, because it's not that great unless you are new level 60 this is mangled heights this whole area right here and you can see that if i zoom in mangled heights this whole zone it's going to have some elite chest definitely worth checking out if you are a new level 60 it's going to get you that gear score kind of start off but like i said guys these are going to be very very different depending on what server you're on what really cost or what they kind of go for when it comes to the trading post so what i do suggest is looking every single one of these resources or materials up and finding the one that is going to net you the most when it comes to value so definitely jump in and and you know in my case like i said corrupted rune is going to be the biggest mangled heights at the moment because there's only what three or four or five six on the market six right now on the market in windsward so make sure to take advantage of these guys if they are selling for such a high price it'll be up to you if you want to take the advantage of it like i said one is in reek water one is in eating grove one is in great cleave slash shattered mountain and then we have another one that is also in great cleave kind of in the bottom left mangled heights so take a look let me know what you guys think about this if this is going to be a money maker on your server i'm curious what your guys's prices are going for like i said mine anywhere from about 40 besides molten rune right now that's a little bit lower like i said nine goldish but everywhere everything else is right around from 40 gold to 100 gold so it's definitely a money maker for sure doing those elite chest runs and uh, i think you guys should be like i said on the lookout on really on the lookout for these at the very least so thank you guys again for tuning in make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel turn notifications on like i said guys i do believe that we are going to continue to see these actually go up in value as more and more people are starting to be able to craft those rune stones and really getting started on you know needing more keys as they continue to use their first two freebies a lot of people don't realize what the costs are for Genesis, Lazarus, Siren tuning orbs, you know, Starstone tuning orbs. And the, there's a lot more you can look at in here. You know, if you look at the uh, Starstone, not Starstone tuning orb, I want to look at the, where's the other one? Uh, Siren tuning orb, because this is going to be another late game kind of area or instance that you're going to want to look into. So they have the energy core. So you can actually take a look at the energy core, what kind of pieces and, uh, you know, make up that energy core. But the biggest thing is going to be the fancy shell. So another thing to kind of look into. Let's take a look at the fancy shell just for the heck of it real quick to kind of end ended on that note i know i already kind of did my outro and stuff but let's take a look at the fancy shell i don't want you guys to miss out on an opportunity in windsward it's on for about 58 but we're going to check all set, uh, all territories right now so yeah you guys can see the price right there fancy shell wise about 58 gold per on every trading post which is crazy you know a ton of money to be made like i said if you just do these runs about every day you're going to make a ton of gold and uh, that's if you want to sell them obviously like i said they could continue to go up in value we'll continue to keep you guys up to date with everything regarding new world on this channel so if you have not already make sure to like the video like i said previously subscribe to the channel turn notifications on also follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash i'll see you guys all in the next video and on eternum